It's getting very close to Easter now. It's the first weekend in April. And I wanted to do something with the magnolias. They're past budding now. Some of them actually have flowers. This one has a lot of buds. So I chose a bouquet from Costco that I thought would go well with these colors. And I don't know exactly what I'll be doing today, but I'd like to use this piece of driftwood. And I'll use that with a well Kenzan. This one has an unusual shape, holds a, a decent amount of water, and it's heavy enough that it should be able to support the branches of the magnolia. There's many, many ways that we could do this, and I'll just have to decide on which one I'd like to do today. I've made a decision about the, the driftwood because of the shape of the branch. It's very horizontal and the flower is wanting to come more to the front, so I want the long line of the driftwood going in the same direction. can actually display this in a number of different angles. I like this angle with the open flower coming forward. But also, we have a little more of a horizontal line here. And even some interest on the other side. So we have at least a three-sided view, and I'll just have to decide how I want to display that. Now I have a lot of flowers left. I've only used one lily stem and I have a really nice size hydrangea. So I'm going to try something really large. This is a big piece of a trunk of tree that I found in the yard. And I don't have another well Kenzan, so I'll use a cereal or salad bowl with a three inch Kenzan. And we'll see what we can do with this. I may stop here. I'll take a look at some other possibilities, but I'm, I'm happy with the simplicity and the weight 
distribution here, so I may just stop with this. All right, so I have two ideas here, and I think that I'll take a picture of the more simplistic one, although they're both quite simple, without the additional lily, and I may cut one of these buds off. And I think this will be my final. I like the additional color and line, but it could go without or with the lily. There's the two variations with the driftwood. Obviously they're displayed too close together, but I have a very, very small house. So they would look, of course, much nicer if they were separated. But can't be helped. Well, I've used up all my large mass flowers. I only had really one, the hydrangea that I cut one piece off to bring some depth to it, and a couple of large lilies. So I have really small things left. I may find something in the garden. I don't think daffodils, they're a little too delicate for this, but maybe hyacinths. But I'd already decided I wanted to do something in this large vase with the magnolias, so we'll see what happens. And if you've seen me work in this vase before, it's not watertight but I do have a perfect size cup that lodges right into the mouth that I'll use. Now to help with the fixation of the branches, I've cut a piece of magnolia and cut the end on a diagonal, which makes it easier to lodge into the cup, into the mouth of the vase. Now I left that one little branch on there because I can also use that as a space for flowers wet rather than cut a second crossbar. Find out now if the vase is too heavy for the branches. The branches are rather delicate and I cut some additional budding branches that are very, very delicate. But if we don't have enough weight in the branches, I can put some weight in the flowers. And these are just gorgeous that have opened outside the front door. So instead of maybe having the, the heavier part in the branching, we'll have the heavier part maybe in these flowers. We'll just see how things come along. I can make these longer by wiring them to another branch as long as I put them into the water. So that is where I'm going with this now. I've made a decision here to add a branch of the star magnolia that I used for a previous arrangement to add more weight and to put some white on the side and I've moved all the pink to the left. I used wire now to wire the snapdragons into the position where I'd like them to stand. Now this could change as we go along. There's 
nothing set in stone in a freestyle arrangement. I see a branch right there that I'm going to clip to take that line out. Now we have a very full freestyle Easter arrangement. I ended up using two branches from the Star Magnolia and two branches from the Pink Magnolia. I did some wiring to make the branches longer, one branch longer, and to put the snapdragons where I wanted them. And then we have a few budding branches where the leaves are starting to come out and other Spring flowers from the garden, hyacinths, 